in urban areas, by far the biggest source of CO2 and greenhouse gas emissions is buildings. And if we look at the percentage that comes from buildings, by far the biggest piece of that pie is from heating. So if we're going to tackle a piece of the puzzle, we might as well focus on the biggest piece. And that is why we've chosen to build Passive House. In a passive house, we invest in certain parts of the envelope a little more than what you might in any other sort of house. Uh, take the windows, for example. Uh, they are uh, a very high quality window, and it's not just that they're triple pane uh, in, in the glass, but it's also the frame. The frame is often the weak point in any window, and uh, so you'll notice on these windows, they're, they're really strong uh, and really big, uh, very carefully designed to have very low heat transfer. Once you get into this style of window, they also tilt and turn, which is, which is kind of a fun feature, um, allows for secure ventilation. A big part of uh, building a, a very robust envelope is uh, the air sealing of it, because if you're leaking air, you're also leaking heat, um, as well as moisture. Moisture is quite damaging uh, to a building, uh, but air is, of course, an energy loss. So what we've used is a very high quality uh, Swiss tape that uh, allows us to air seal the building to a point far beyond what you would see in a conventional building. In this building we've used a, a, a Zedner 200 HRV in each suite. Uh, it's ducted through the ceilings with a, a flexible plastic uh, ventilation pipe and allows us to have very low profile uh, bulkheads and, and also is designed to run absolutely silent so you can run this thing 24-7 without uh, having any sort of occupant discomfort. So the exterior of this building, a lot of people noticed, was coated in blue paper rather than uh, the traditional uh, building papers that we see. The reason we've done that is because it's a, it's a higher quality, more permeable uh, membrane and allows the wall to dry out a lot better. As a byproduct of chasing the energy efficiency in a building, you end up with a very comfortable indoor environment. You're isolated from outside noise, the air quality is pristine, there's no cold spots, no drafts. It's actually really hard for most Canadians to fathom just how comfortable it is inside of a certified passive house.